गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स नमस्कार आप सभी देख रहे हैं ई विद्या चैनल नंबर छः और सी आई टी एन सी आर टी का लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सत्र और मैं हूं कुसुम प्रसाद दिस इज आवर वेरी स्पेशल सेशन टीचिंग लर्निंग इंटरवेंशन फॉर इंक्लूसिव क्लासरूम्स और आप सभी अपने टेलीविजन स्क्रीन्स पर देख रहे हैं साइन लैंग्वेज इंटरप्रेटर मिस मधु तो ये पूरे सत्र को साइन लैंग्वेज के माध्यम से बताएंगी और समझाएंगी और क्योंकि हमारी समावेशी कक्षा है तो जिसमें हम सभी बच्चों सभी बच्चे एक साथ पढ़ते हैं समझते हैं और जानते हैं और हम पूरी कोशिश करते हैं कि पूरे इस सत्र को साइन लैंग्वेज के माध्यम से आप सभी को दर्शाएं और आज का जो सेशन है वो है क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स के लिए द सेशन इज़ फॉर क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड लर्न द चैप्टर सेवन and the title is fair play and to teach this subject our today's expert is ms divya gupta ma'am welcome ma'am bahut bahut swagat namaskar thank you ma'am is mentor teacher uh, from directorate of education so before we start this session we want to share our uh, various medium where you can contact us and you can send your queries your questions and your feedback so dear students and learners you can contact us through our फोन नंबर दैट इज एट एट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो ई मेल आस ऑन अवर ई मेल आई डी दैट इज डी टी एच डॉट क्लास सिक्स एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस सेशन वी वॉन्ट टू शेयर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट रिगार्डिंग जी ट्वेंटी वी आर प्राउड दैट इंडिया एज्यूम द जी ट्वेंटी प्रेजिडेंसी एंड विल कन्वीन द जी ट्वेंटी लीडर समिट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन इंडिया a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solution for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of vasudev kutumbakam or the world is one family to isi positive note ke sath hum is shuruaat karte hain aaj ke satra ki aur jaisa ki maine bataya ki आज का जो सेशन है वो इंग्लिश का है फॉर क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स सो वी मूव टू अवर एक्सपर्ट मिस दिव्या गुप्ता मैम मैम प्लीज टेल अस दिस चैप्टर इज फेयर प्ले इज इट अ स्टोरी और अ प्ले टू अवर डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स वो ऑल आर वाचिंग अस मैम ऑल राइट गुड मॉर्निंग सो दिस इज अ स्टोरी इट्स अ वेरी हार्ट वार्मिंग स्टोरी वेरी इवोकेटिव इट्स अ स्टोरी लाइक यू आस्ट मी नॉट अ प्ले Uh, it's set in an indian village uh, the story is written by munshi premchand uh, as we all know he's a pioneer in writing about uh, women's status in society in writing about caste hierarchy it's a beautiful story about uh, choosing between friendship and justice so uh, that's what we are going to read but today before we read the story uh, i would like learners to look at the next slide and uh, ask themselves the questions that appear on this slide so uh you have to as you as you read you have to think along with it uh, who is your best friend in school and what do you like most about them and uh, also what do you do for each other all of these lessons are connected to uh, these uh, questions are connected to your lesson so what do you do for each other uh a very important question is the third one if you were the monitor in your class or the head boy or head girl in your school and you found that your best friend bullies young children would you report them or protect them so what is more important friendship or integrity so give reasons along with your answer that's also there the main characters in the story that we are going to read today are uh, algu choudhary jumman sheik jumman's wife jumman's old aunt a man called samju sahu and panch pradhan yes ma'am uh, ma'am uh, who are panch pradhan as our students and learners don't know i think they are uh, seeing this session and they want to know who are panch pradhan so please explain this to our dear students and learners ma'am all right so this is a concept that has existed in our villages for a very long time uh, now panch literally means five and pradhan means chief uh, so 
panch pradhan are five decision makers in any village who are elected by all members of the village who are above the age of 18 years uh, and this uh, committee together is committed to solving any disputes in the uh, community so whenever there is a dispute they bring it before the panch pradhan this is where it's discussed and the panch uh, is said to have the voice of justice they are said to be the final authority on truth so this is the value of panch in our village system yes ma'am let's move on this is what uh, a gram panchayat looks like as you can see there are five people sitting under the tree these are the panches and uh, this actually is a scene from our story that we are going to read today so algu choudhary is the one that's sitting in the center with a cap on his uh, head okay and jumman sheik is the one that's standing in the corner we will read about how the uh, panchayat worked in the story shortly so do you enjoy watching films and listening to plays on the radio uh, we can watch a little video based on today's story and retold juman sheik and algu choudhury were good friends so strong was their bond of friendship that when either of them went away from the village the other looked after his family both were greatly respected in the village juman had an old aunt who had some property this she transferred to him on the understanding that she would stay with him and he would look after her the arrangement worked well for a couple of years then the situation changed juman and his family were tired of the old relative Juman became as indifferent to her as his wife who grudged even the little food that the old lady wanted every day she swallowed these insults along with her food for a few months but patience has its limits one day she spoke to juman my son it is now obvious that i am not wanted in your house kindly give me a monthly allowance so that i can set up a separate kitchen my wife knows best how to run the house be patient said juman shamelessly this made his aunt very angry and she decided to take her case to the village panchayat for many days the old lady was seen talking to the villagers explaining her case and seeking their support some sympathized with her others laughed at her and a few others advised her to make it up with her nephew and his wife at last she came to algu choudhury and spoke to him you know chachi juman is my best friend how can i go against so you can, him uh... algu said go to youtube and but watch. is it right my son to keep mum and not say what you consider just and fair so you can go to youtube and watch the rest of the video there uh briefly i'll tell the story here so as you saw algu choudhury and jumman sheik were best friends and uh, they were so close to each other that when either of them had to leave the village for a few days the other one would look after the family of the uh, one that had left now juman had an old aunt who had transferred her property to juman and the condition was such that she would give her property to juman and juman's family inst uh, instead would take care of her uh, initially this arrangement went very well but after a little while uh, juman's family got tired of the old relative and they wanted to you know uh, get rid of her they did not treat her nicely Uh, juman's wife in fact was not even very happy about the food that she used to consume she had no other needs so the old woman uh, was very upset uh, obviously about it 
and uh, she tried to you know talk to Juman and his wife but when it did not uh, become fruitful in any way she started talking to other people in the village to seek support some people laughed at her some people told her to make up with her nephew uh, and his wife but nobody really ca clearly came out in her support this is when uh, she went to the panch to the panchayat uh, to seek support and uh, there algu chaudhary was selected was nominated as the sarpanch or the head panch now this made juman very confident because algu was his best friend it made him very confident that algu would definitely rule in his favor and uh, he was certain that now his poor old aunt would definitely lose however when algu sat in the panchayat in the position of a panch he realized that he could not favor his friend and that justice had to be supreme after a long session of cross examination algu chaudhary and the others who were acting as panches they ruled in favor of the old aunt and decided to give her a monthly allowance that she was seeking after this the bond of friendship between juman and algu broke they were seldom seen in fact talking to each other time passed and uh, as destiny would have it soon algu also was in a problem he was in a fix and uh, he actually had a very fine pair of bullocks but one of them died so the other one was of no use and he decided to sell that other bullock to a man called samju sahu now the arrangement was such that this money uh, for the bullock would be paid within a period of 1 month as it would happen the bullock died bet uh, between that period of 1 month and now samju sahu refused to pay any money he said that the bullock is dead and i'm not going to pay anything to you for a dead animal algu now approached the panchayat with this matter after samju sahu refused to his many many appeals he to the panchayat asking for justice now uh, again as destiny would have it uh, this time juman sheik uh, was nominated as uh, the panch as the uh, sarpanch or the head panch as samju sahu was very uh, now now samju sahu was very confident that juman would rule in his favor because he was anyway against algu however this is where the turning point in the story comes the moment juman sheik assumes the position of the judge or the sarpanch he realizes that uh, being a sarpanch being in the position of a uh, head punch is a, a you know a, a place of great responsibility a place of uh, great you know dignity of office so he realized that he must do what is fair and not what is uh, you know to not something to exact revenge from algu so after cross examining juman ruled that sahu must pay for the bullock because when it was sold it was healthy algu could not contain his feelings when he heard this judgment and he said this is justice god lives in the voice of the punch juman embraced him and admitted that he was wrong to expect an unjust decision in his favor he learned that no one should deviate from the path of justice and truth for friendship or enmity so yes, this is the story yes ma'am very nice story ma'am do you have any tea learns to show our students and learners actually i do uh, i have a very simple activity here which children can do hmm. in their classes so these are some ice cream stick puppets that i have made and children can also very easily make the only materials that are required to make these are basic ice cream sticks like these and then on paper they can draw the figures that they want to draw this personalizes the experience of uh, reading the lesson and after they've done that they can color it in terms of vocabulary also i think this activity proves very useful because on the stick they write the names of the characters and then 
uh, you know, two or three of their qualities. So this is what we've done. Can you guess who this is? I'll show you one stick without showing you the name. Uh, and this is Algu. This is Algu. That's yeah. very correctly guessed. And uh, let's have you guess this, this one. This is, I think, Juman. This is Juman. Very good. And this is auntie. And uh, this is the aunt. This is the old aunt. Yeah. So, and then, you know, we have then, you know, names and qualities written here. Mm. So, for the aunt, I asked a child in my class when I taught this lesson, they said she is very tolerant in the beginning mm. and very courageous later when mm. she decides to go to the court, uh, to the panchayat. And uh, Algu is very fair and just and kind. And Jumman ke liye, wo kehte hai ki wo pehle bohat irresponsible hota hai, mm. lekin baad nahi. Fair ban jata hai and he understands that he should be just when he goes to a... Ma'am, this is a very interesting idea to teach the students and learners. Yes. And this way, we can understand the children and write qualities on it. So, so ma that is to do yeah. vocabulary. The qualities are to do vocabulary. Yes, ma'am. Now, let's move to the keywords, ma'am. Yes. Our keywords are, first is conscience. So, the first, yes. And second is nominate. Third is justice. And ma'am, now it's time for the homework and the modified homework, ma'am. All right. Keywords or detail me kar lete Uh, let us look at the keywords once. So the keywords today that we have at hand are conscience. Conscious means that part of your mind that tells you if what you're doing is right or wrong. The second keyword is nominate, which means to formally suggest that somebody should be given a job or a role or a prize. The third keyword is justice which means the ethical idea that people must be treated impartially, impartially and reasonably. Uh, teachers, I uh, will request that when they study this lesson, because this is an inclusive classroom, they will present these words in Braille. I have also mentioned it on the screen. You have also mentioned it on the screen. Yes. एक अच्छा आइडिया है कि बच्चों को जब भी हम कोई नए शब्द सिखाते हैं तो उनको कहें कि उनसे अपनी ही लाइफ से सेंटेंसेस क्रिएट करें इससे उनको वो वर्ड्स याद रहते हैं काफी देर तक उनको हेल्प होती है जी मैम आप हम होमवर्क की तरफ बढ़ते हैं मैम ऑल राइट सो आर होमवर्क इज सम क्वेश्चंस आर हियर ऑन द स्क्रीन एज चिल्� what was the villagers' reaction when the aunt explained her case to them? Why was Juman happy over Algu's nomination as head punch? God lives in the heart of punch, the aunt said. What did she mean? And the last question is, what was Juman's verdict as punch? Did he exact his revenge? So all of these are questions that you will find the answers to in the story. So try and write the answers in your own language. Try to not find the answers verbatim in the book, but try to write them in your own language. Now we move to the modified homework. I have some interesting activities, mm. even if I say so myself, for modified homework today. So, uh, the first question is, write the names of feelings that the characters must have felt in the given situation. So, the first character is old aunt. You have to tell, you have to see the name of the character, then you have to see the situation and you have to name the feeling that this character must have felt when this happened to them. So, the old aunt, how would she have felt when Jumman and his wife neglected her needs. She must have felt neglected, she must have felt sad, she must have felt upset. Find your own word, take your time and do this. Then the next one is Jumman. How do you think Jumman felt when the aunt nominated Algu as head punch? 
I feel she must have felt, I felt Juman must have felt very confident and very happy. But again, find your own word. Uh, third is also Juman. How do you think Juman felt when Algu ruled against him? He was his best friend. So how do you feel uh, he must have felt at that time? Disappointed, betrayed. Uh, then fourth is Algu. How do you think Algu felt when Sahu chose Juman as head punch? I think he must have felt afraid, diffident that now, you know, through Sahu, Juman would exact his revenge. Find your word. How do you think Algu must have felt when Juman gave a fair decision? Overwhelmed? Uh, find your again, find your word. Look, for, look up the dictionary not internet, but the dictionary for synonyms of the words that you find. Ma'am, this is very interesting uh, homework. How can we turn into this an ongoing learning, ma'am? You're just going to come to that, ma'am. And mm. let me just read the second question and then we'll discuss okay. the whole thing together. So, uh, the second question is actually my favorite in this homework today. All of us have different abilities, that's for sure. And that's what makes us all different from each other. But there's one thing common to all of us. All of us are born with it, you know. Regardless of whether we can see, whether we can hear, whether we can speak, there's one thing that all of us have. Sometimes as we grow, we forget to use it, but we always have it. Do you know what it is? It is our conscience. The part of our mind that tells us if what we are doing is right or wrong. We always have it. Have you used your conscience lately? So let's check it through some questions. So the first question is, you see your friend cheat on a test. What would you do? Would you tell your teacher? Would you talk to your friend? Or uh, would you keep quiet about it because it's your best friend? Your friends are planning a party. The second situation is your friends are planning a party and everyone has to contribute 500 rupees. Now you don't have the money. What are you going to do? Are you going to ask your parents for money? Are you going to steal money out of your mother's purse? Are you going to break your piggy bank without your parents' knowledge? What are you going to do? Think about it. So these questions will tell you about conscience and whether what you're doing is right or not. Uh, and as ma'am asked, mm -hmm. what we can do to make this conscience uh, you know, thing a regular and ongoing activity and not just let it end with this chapter, Ma'am, I would suggest that to do this, children can keep a thing called a conscience journal. They mm -hmm. don't have to write uh, pages and pages in it every day. They can mm -hmm. write just one or two sentences. But those sentences can start with things like, uh, you know, today I did this and my conscience told me that it was right or mm -hmm. it was wrong. Yeah, today I saw this. Did this nahi to saw this bhi ho sakta hai. Mm -hmm. aisa hote hai dekha. और मुझे ऐसे लगा कि ये सही किया उस व्यक्ति ने या फिर उन्होंने ये सही नहीं hmm. किया तो ऐसा एक कॉन्शियस जर्नल जब बच्चे तीन हफ्ते तक मेंटेन करते हैं तो फिर जब वो वापस जाके उस पे देखते हैं नजर डालते हैं उस पे तो एक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कॉन्शियस स्ट्रांग थोड़ा सा हो जाता है एंड आई थिंक इट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू मेंटेन दैट मैम बिल्कुल और मैम हमने इसमें जो कीवर्ड्स बताए हैं तो हम स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स जो हमें देख रहे हैं उनको किस तरह से वो रिमेम्बर करा सकते हैं कि जो भी हमने आज वर्ड्स लिए हैं कि वो याद रखें जो हमने आज वर्ड्स टिप मैम दिस इज अ वेरी यूजफुल क्वेश्चन द वन टिप दैट आई ऑलवेज गिव टू माय स्टूडेंट्स इन क्लासेस एंड हियर इन लाइव सेशन ऑल्सो इज दैट वेन यू लर्न अ न्यू वर्ड डू नॉट स्टॉप एट दैट लर्न इट रिमेम्बर इट थ्रू एसोसिएशन विच मीन्स associate it with someone now when i say conscience and you mm. understand what conscience means think of a person whose conscience you think is very strong somebody who never does anything wrong so if you think that your mother's conscience is very strong then you will you are more likely to remember that word that's mm. one tip another is when you make a sentence out of that word using that word out of your own life then you are more likely to remember it and the third thing, which is a very interesting thing I also recently found, only a couple of years ago I came to know, that the things which we read before bedtime, immediately before bedtime, 
we are more likely to remember them. Mm. So any new words that you learn in school, it's a good idea to read them once again before bedtime and then let sleep do the rest of the work. So that's also a good idea. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, we want to know a little more about the qualities of Algu and Juman, so that the children who are watching us are watching us, उनको इनकी क्वालिटीज़ के बारे में भी पता लगे जैसे अलगू के बारे में आपने बताया ही वॉज वेरी काइंड है ना एंड जुमन वॉज वेरी इरिस्पॉन्सिबल ऑल राइट सो जुमन वॉज इरिस्पॉन्सिबल इन द बिगिनिंग एंड दैट इज वाई द आंट हैड टू गो टू पंचायत सो वेन वी रीड द स्टोरी वी विल कम टू नो दैट जुमन वॉज आस्ट बाय द आंट ओवर एंड ओवर to look after her needs, to you know, pay her some allowance, to look after herself. But uh, he said, my wife knows best how to run the kitchen, so uh, you need not uh, have an allowance. This would show that he was not very responsible towards his aunt. He was not uh, a very good nephew. He was not uh, a very caring nephew. And also he was not a man of his word. When he took the aunt's property, he said uh, that I would look after you in return for your property, but he did not keep his word. So he is also not a, a man of his word. Mm. So these are some qualities uh, that we see in Juman in the beginning of the lesson. And uh, as we come to the end, we realize that he turns into a, he, you know, he turns a new leaf. Mm. When he sits in the position of a punch, mm. he realizes that being there must make you just. You know, it, it does make you just automatically. So mm. that is about Juman. Then when we talk about Algu, he has always been a kind, just man. Uh, what he does is he, we, you know, the incidents show us that he's kind mm. is that he in the favor of the aunt in spite of the fact that Juman is his best friend. So he's just, we see that. Mm. And then he's kind because, you know, he makes that arrangement with Sanju Sahu where he allows him to pay uh, within a month. Mm. If he had taken the payment at the beginning, this problem would not have arisen, you know, mm. risen. But uh, he allows Samju to, you know, work on his conditions. So that shows that he's a kind and accommodating man. Then when we talk about Juman's aunt, uh, like I said earlier, she's a very tolerant woman. In the beginning of the lesson, we read uh, a sentence that says that she swallowed uh, insults along with her food. Mm. So she tolerates the bad behavior that she re receives from Juman and his wife for a long time. So that shows that she's tolerant. But later, she's also, we see her courageous, uh, you know, uh, also, uh, the, her courage also uh, that she shows in uh, reaching out to the panchayat. Absolutely, ma'am. And ma'am, what we have heard this story today, and we have also known about many characters, and you have also told about their qualities, and we have given many students and learners a lot of homework, modified homework, and they can give another homework, that they can tell us about who is kind in class, Absolutely. इससे वो जज भी कर पाएंगे और अपनी memory power भी बढ़ा पाएंगे कि story से relate भी कर पाएंगे माम. Absolutely. और students and learners को हम बता देते हैं कि जो भी माम ने आपको homework दिया, modified homework दिया, आपने उसको कहाँ भेजना है, किस format में भेजना है, तो dear students and learners, आप हमें अपने homework भेजेंगे, इस format में अपना class का नाम लिखेंगे. स्कूल मेंशन करेंगे अपना नेम मेंशन करेंगे और एक्सपर्ट का नाम भी लिखेंगे आज की मैम जो हमारी आज की एक्सपर्ट है दिव्या मैम और अपनी क्लास टीचर का नाम भी लिख सकते हैं आज की डेट मेंशन करेंगे और आप हमें ईमेल करेंगे हमारे ईमेल आईडी पे वो है dth.class6@cit.nic.in पर तो हमें इंतजार रहेगा आपके होमवर्क और मॉडिफाइड होमवर्क का और मैम आज हमने इस चैप्टर में बहुत कुछ जाना विलेज के बारे में काफी कुछ जाना कि पंचायत किसे कहते हैं ग्राम पंचायत किसे कहते हैं तो मैम आप यहाँ आए और हमारे स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स को इतनी बहुमूल्य जानकारी दी और बहुत अच्छे से इस चैप्टर को पढ़ाया और गाइड करा मैम थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स जाते जाते हम आपको एक महत्वपूर्ण अनाउंसमेंट साझा करना चाहते हैं जी से रिलेटेड Uh, we are proud that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country in 2023. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solution for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam. 
और इसी के साथ हमारा आज का ये सत्र भी ही संपन्न होता है लेकिन हम जाने से पहले हमारे साइन लैंग्वेज इंटरप्रेटर मधु जी का भी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया करना चाहेंगे कि उन्होंने भी पूरे सेशन में साइन लैंग्वेज के माध्यम से आप सभी स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स को समझाया तो आज का सेशन हमारा इतना ही था और लेकिन हम ये कहेंगे कि आप देखते रहिए हमारा ये ई विद्या चैनल क्योंकि बहुत सारे रोचक और ज्ञानवर्धक प्रोग्राम्स होते हैं इसमें और हमें दीजिए इजाज़त नमस्कार